Does Final Fantasy 3 still hold up? Who gives a fuck? That's not what this video is about. Fishing, the art or act of catching fish, is what it used to mean long ago. Now it stands for what a Nigerian black prince does when he needs to get your information to give you his millions. But there was a time when fishing was a sport. Not only a sport, but a way to survive in the wilderness. In the olden times, it was the only way man could catch food to feed his starving stomach. It was the only way he could survive. Oh, well, well, he could stick a spear in a mammoth or something, I don't know. As man evolved, so did fishing and fishing tools. Today, fishing is known as the act of sitting on a wooden pier or in a small piece of shit boat. Oh, while the humidity rages on your body as well as the heat making, with the humidity making the heat even worse on your body, you sweat profusely. A mosquito suck the very blood out of your veins and you get so dizzy headed from the loss of blood that you faint inside the boat and then your mom has to drag you back to the house. When you finally wake up from your er, dizzy stupor, your mom and dad are fighting each other, are screaming right over over you. Hey, why did you let him go out there without his medicine? Oh, I didn't have to have his damn medicine. And you know how expensive that shit is. He's just fine without it. And no, he's not. But look at how pale he is. I never cared for fishing myself. Too hot. So after hearing how wonderful fishing is, how in the hell would you make a video game out of that and still make it fun and fantastic and entertaining just the way fishing is? Well, many video game manufacturers thought there was a way to make fishing fun. So, it was tried many different ways, even as far back as the Atari 2600, and that's where this video begins. Fishing Derby on the Atari. In this game, we see Mario and Luigi in stereotypical Australian hats fishing together. Or maybe it's General Custer and he finally got his revenge, I don't know. That's what I love about Atari. You really have to use your imagination. You know, nowadays we've got characters in video games that we know and love. Like, for instance, in Final Fantasy IX, you've got Vivi, you've got Zaiden, you've got... Humana, 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 humana. The plot of this game is Jaws was thrown in a fish tank. He was captured by the people from the first movie. I don't remember the names. And, and then he was given a bunch of fish to feed. And you're a bunch of environmentalists who don't want Jaws to eat live fish, so you're trying to save the fish. Actually, no, that has nothing to do with this game. You just catch fish. And hope to God they don't get eaten by the giant shark. What I say about the giant shark? I said, no giant shark. Not really much I can say about this game other than the button does nothing. The one button on the Atari that could do something like reel it in or something, and it does absolutely nothing. You basically move over left to right to move your fishing pole left or right, then you go up and down to move your line. And the fish just kind of go where they want. You have no control over them once you get a bite. It's just pretty much you hope to God it gets up to the top before the giant shark comes in and just bites their dicks off. Next we have the Black Bass USA. USA America. Oh, uh, well, I guess I have to enter my name. Well, that's easy enough. My, the first three letters of my name are right beside each other, so it ought to be easy. Uh, S T U U V U. Okay. Oh, interesting. Look at my record. Like I've got parking tickets on this game or something. What's your standing code? Standing code? How about tell me what a standing code is? How about ass? How's that for a standing code? The white warning. This code is incorrect. I guess it is. Now, how do you get out of this? Um, okay, I just pushed every button. Okay, apparently if you don't have a password, you have to reset the fucking game. Yay. I'm a beginner! I don't know how to fish, mama! Look at this dude. You can move to another place. Wow, game, way to comment on my hometown. I will stay where I'm at, thank you. Game's like, dude, I've seen your house, you can do better. Wow, get a load of the scenery in this game. If I didn't know this was a fishing game, I would have thought this was like a top-down level on Akari Warriors or something. And don't you love the classic sounds of NES music? My favorite song is <coughs> And we're, we're, we're to believe that this is a piece of fish bait. It looks like a shrimp out of water trying to survive. And it's just wallowing around on the dirt. Oh, that's a wonderful sound. I had a horse that made that noise. I had to shoot it.
Oh, God, put it away. Put it away. Okay, let's move on in the regular Nintendo's library a little bit better than that. Let's uh, do the, uh, there's one called the Blue Marlin, where you fish for marlins. So, oh man, my favorite game publisher. We start out with a long cutscene, which shows... Free Willy! Let's enter my name again. Told you how easy it was. Lord, I hope it's correct. I'd hate to know I messed up something that easy already. Hey, that's catchy. Hey. So, I'm in this boat, and I start wandering around in this boat, and I seem to have some kind of boat anchor dragging behind me. Not sure what that's all about. I've never fished for blue marlin before, so I guess you catch them with a boat anchor? I don't know. Maybe that's just how they do it back there. So I tap buttons, I go through menus, and more menus, and more menus, and menus on top of menus, and I'm... Eyeball? You can use an eyeball as bait? Well, hell, let's go for it. Finally, I figure out that boat anchor is basically your hook. And you're supposed to drive towards the, the school of fish and kind of get your way around there just right to where the fish will bite. If you don't do it just right, the fish will just run away. And it's not as easy as it looks. You have to like slow the boat down, then get the little anchor right there in the school of fish without them knowing your boat is there, I guess. So I finally catch a fish, and then Kazuhiro Miller comes out of nowhere and tells me I've got a bite. Here's where the fun and endurance begins. I use the word fun ironically. Note the product placement right there in the middle. Zebco fishing rods, everybody. Get yourself a Zebco today. Kaz pops back up and says the fish is plumb wore out, so I start reeling them in. If I can figure out how. Finally, I figure out it's the A button. Then I figure out I'm doing something that I do in fishing in real life. I'm trying to have the rod held up as high as I can to kind of keep them above the water. Apparently that doesn't really work in video games. I wrestle this thing a good five, six minutes too. This takes a long time to do and after it's all said and done, the fucking line snaps and then the fish gets away. I like how they show them riding into the sunset. You ain't gonna get away from me this time, you bastard. I'm gonna channel my inner Jeremy Wade. I'm gonna river monster your ass. Come on, you son of a bitch. You ain't no match for me. I'm gonna whoop your ass. I'm gonna whoop it. I'm gonna whoop it. I'm gonna beat the shit out of you, you stupid goddamn fish man. Always say, oh, and I lost him. Well, next time you'll do better. Well? There probably won't be a next time! Well, why don't we try Game Boy for a change? Everything's better on the Game Boy, right? Except all those times when it's not. Oh boy, another classic from Hotububub. This gon' be good. Now, I don't know all my classical music all that well, but I do believe everything on here is classical music. Maybe not that. Now, this is beautiful right here. We've got a question mark and some arrows and some plus signs and a power meter. You gotta hand it to those graphical designers and all the hard work that was put into making all of this blank scenery. This is supposed to be a first-person view of the damn bait. Wait till you see the fish. It's the best graphical enhanced fish you've ever seen in your life. There she is. I'm gonna get this motherfucker. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I have bested God's creation. My rainbow trout is my rainbow bitch. I just fucked it in its rainbow mouth. Unless you count the Atari game, I think this is the first fish I've caught in this video. And it had to be the pride fish of all things. Now let's move on to the Super Nintendo. Fishing games got a little bit better on the Super Nintendo. I had two of them, Super Black Bass and Bassin's Black Bass, both made by our good friends at hot Seems like everything I've reviewed so far has been them just about. How many fishing games did they make? Well, anyway, it's 16 bits, so it's time to get super with Super Black Bass, big buddy. 
So, this is the first instance of unironic country music and on Super Nintendo, I would believe. <laughs> Dig that 16-bit fiddle. Well, let's enter our name for the kajillionth time. Oh, hey, we've got something a little different here. Junior, Mr., Mrs., is... Let's go with Mr. Stew. How about we do that? Mr. Stew. Right, you can't go back? Okay, Stew Mr. We'll do we'll, we'll do a thrill ho here. Blah, 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 blah. I never sat through this shit when I was a kid, and I'm not going to sit through it today. Finally, the game starts up, and you're in your boat finding a good spot to place your rod. Um, uh, yeah. Speaking of the fishing rod, look how jacked up it looks. It almost looks like you've already got some kind of weird diseased fish in your hand. When you finally get your shit in the water there, um, it's pretty simple. You just reel it in, hope to God you catch a fish. If there's no fish there to catch, then you've just wasted about two or three minutes of your time. Or your life in general. Yeah, I never liked this one. Plus, when you finally do get to see a fish, they're kind of transparent, so they're hard to see, and it's hard to tell when they're actually coming towards your line or not. Plus, on a lot of these spots, there's like invisible barriers where you can't even see if your lure is moving or not. You can't even see what it's hitting against. I'm supposedly hitting a rock right here, but I don't know that. Only when I let my lure up a little bit by quit reeling in the thing, does it stop. See? Also, there's a fish right there. Yeah, you see that that weird little blob right there? That's supposed to be the fish. I can't even stand to play this game because that freaking loop of the water, that water sound effect you're hearing right now gets in my head and it won't leave. And it conjures up really bad memories for me. Oh, please shut up. <sighs> Oh, man. I knew this was going to be hard to do, but let's do another one um, that I remember from my childhood. This one I have fond memories of because this one was actually fun. And this is Bassin's Black Bass. I think this was made after Super Black Bass, and they got their head out of their butt for this one. And once again, we've got some beautiful Super Nintendo country. We honestly, right from the get-go, you can tell this is a better made game with better graphics and bigger budget and all that goody-goody. Why they had to put the U way over there, I do not know, though. You can somewhat build your own character for this game as well, uh, with its own style. Oh, male, female, whatever you want. And also righty or lefty. Even gave him glasses, shades, or a beard. There's, the, there's my aviators right there. What the fuck is that supposed to be? Let's see, we got Harry Potters, too. How about that shit? Uh, let's get the aviators. Also, let's see about the beards. Oh, we got all the whole ranges right here. I've never been much for facial hair, so let's just go without it, huh? Style, you can change the color of your setup here. Oh, there's Solid Snake. Let's go with that. The graphics in this are much better than the other Super Nintendo game, just right off the bat. There's so much more you can do here. here the map and the fish finder are actually useful. And the boat actually takes damage, believe it or not. You can actually bust your boat open. And there's all kind of hidden Easter eggs and stuff you can do that you didn't know you could do until you tried it. For instance, you can hang up your lures. You can find new lures hanging in the trees. All kind of cool stuff. Your casting screen and your water screen is no longer separate modes anymore. They're all in one piece. And you can see the fish way better, too. You can clearly tell what's supposed to be a fish now. It does take a little doings, trial and error, and probably reading a manual or something to figure out what baits to use where, unless you just know these things from actual fishing. But uh, it's all worth it because the game is actually fun, and, and it's encouraging and to play some more because of things. It's just real fun. If you're going to play a fishing game on an older console, make it this one. Bassin's Black Bass, awesome. If anything, to play in a sneaking suit. Colonel, I caught a carp. I really seized the deem. That's a largemouth bass. They're found in watery areas around America. Largemouth bass are a popular angler's treat. 
Use the action button to activate the largemouth bass. Well, so far we've looked at Atari and Nintendo all together, and it looks like fishing games didn't fare very well, all except for one nice one. I kind of wonder if the Sega Genesis did any better. Hey, if you liked what you saw, tell me. If you didn't like it, still tell me. I listen. That's what makes me better than everybody. So, uh, um, comments? No comments? Uh, Patreon, maybe? Hey, it's a tip jar. All right. Uh, SoundCloud, music, Tumblr, dumb shit, Twitter, more dumb shit. It, and uh, that's it, I think. Oh, Bandcamp, album. Good. And yes, don't worry, YouTube poops are on the way. I'm Stuart K. Riley. See y'all.